let's switch from reality to my VR office as you can see and let's take the screens you just saw here the two screens that I have in front of me and put them here and make them whatever size I want so basically now I've got both of my screens in front of my head my my eyes all right so here are my hands I can see them and I also have my holographic virtual menus that I can actually push and uh, locate everywhere, everywhere I want and also enlarge my screens add more screens and so on and so on but the reason I'm recording this video is because a month ago one of my articles uh, in partnership with Meta uh, previously known as Facebook and Paris Center for Innovation and Peace offered me to write this article about how to start designing and developing for VR, AR and uh, basically let's use the umbrella term XR so basically I wrote a short article for Tech 12 News uh, in Israel, in Hebrew so I'm not uh, done with translating this article into English so basically I'm gonna make this recap video about the key principles and the important stuff I talked about in this article and have eventually help some people especially creatives to use the tools I've recommended in this article in order to basically go ahead and start with designing and developing for XR for the first time all right so basically my article was originally with my blog uh, it's a bit longer than the shorter version I've created for tech 12 channel news so let's go and dive deeper into this so basically what I have started with uh, in this article is by defining what is VR what is augmented reality what is mixed reality and obviously how everything is uh, under this XR umbrella term and obviously there is a famous uh, slide that I made back in 2017 uh, in order to describe this XR uh, extended reality umbrella term the terms I like is uh, are basically XR and spatial computing so in this article I've talked about the hardware aspect of things because not many people are gonna buy the Microsoft HoloLens or Magic Leap 2 devices because they are very expensive so the quest 2 although Meta actually raised the price to four hundred dollars US dollars uh, actually it's the cheapest option to start creating for VR and AR as I just demonstrated switching from VR into AR environment is pretty easy and already available although it's in black and white right now there are some additional colored camera like Foxus uh, camera that uh, I just uh, try to order myself but it's out of uh, stock so I'm gonna <laughs> hopefully try it in, uh, in the future and obviously there is the Metacambria uh, or Quest Pro allegedly uh, we don't know how Meta will call the end product that they should uh, launch in the coming months um, so basically the Quest remains the cheapest option uh, right now in order to start designing and developing for XR. Eventually uh, Quest is my go-to device to start designing and developing for XR. So let's go ahead and dive directly into uh, the software aspect of, the, of this and the tools we can use right now. So obviously there are many development environments that you probably know from uh, ARKit for iOS and ARCore for Android these are the known ones uh, in the mobile aspect in the mobile sphere there is obviously the unreal and unity aspect of things that i'm sure i'm gonna show you right now so unity you should know you should you should be already familiar with this tool because that's the go-to 
development and the even design standard for creating VR and AR applications and games because it started as a game engine and if you are not familiar with this one there are there are plenty of tutorials and uh, free community models and uh, you know projects that you can actually download and learn from them and obviously Unreal is doing the same and you can start with if you have some 3D background for example using Blender, 3D Studio, Maya and other tools that's also good and as you can see these tools are not available in VR but I'm actually using my computer in order to uh, not to jump from PC to my quest and uh, go back and forth between those uh, ecosystems. So I'm going to show you the things that we can use on PC as you've seen Blender and Unity and Unreal whatever you like. Uh, as for Figma for example as you can see I'm running Figma in the PC browser in the computer browser it doesn't matter if you have PC, Mac or Linux. So Figma is obviously an online tool that I can run remotely into this kind of environment which, which is immersed or you know meta workrooms or whatever tool you use and you can obviously run Figma in the Oculus browser so you don't need a computer at all. You have some design systems uh, people created for uh, Figma in order to actually at least design the basics of VR and AR experiences and also they provide this uh, cool styles for creating something similar to the Oculus uh, OS, um, the headings, you know, the styles, the colors, obviously the examples themselves of how to actually create the, this kind of user interfaces in VR or in special design inspired by the MetaQuest OS or Oculus OS. So you can actually start designing for Oculus and uh, Pico and other VR and AR devices that are uh, out there in the market. So you want to design the full experience uh, of VR and AR within Sketch and within Figma, but eventually you will be able to actually ideate and create these things eventually uh, in very quick way, just like we always used to design uh, desktop and mobile applications, or the old-fashioned way. Going from Figma to Shapes, Shapes XR actually will force you to respect the, let's say, ergonomics and special design principles, because if you have already some UX, UI and the digital product design experience or background, eventually it will serve, serve you well whenever you come to this uh, special design and XR design um, aspect of things. So you will be able to actually use your knowledge and experience in order to also design for the spatial environments. Shapes XR are also available for the Quest, standalone application. So obviously you can create prototypes within Quest itself. So Shapes XR is my go-to tool and it has integrations with Figma and obviously with Unity 3D, just uh, as I mentioned before. You don't need a computer in order to use it because you can go ahead to a URL called shapes.app uh, and you can load a bunch of 3D models, PNGs or whatever you need into this uh, library. As you can see, I've got a lot of things that I've already added to my uh, Shapes XR account, it's only sim it's simple as drag and drop. You can do it from your computer or you can do it from within the quest itself. Uh, you also have spaces that you created. For example, I've created some uh, reality OS concepts and uh, other uh, training sessions, stuff like this. I can easily export them and uh, you know let the customers play with it or interact with it and also give developers a broader view of how to actually develop these experiences and see you in the next one